Okay, guys. Now I would like to explain on what is happening when you add chlorine into water. Okay, let's say this is a beaker. In this beaker, this is your treated water. It still contain a little bit of iron, a little bit of manganese, a little bit of organic compound, ammonia, ammonia, and this is perhaps your bacteria. Okay, so what will happen? Firstly, yeah, and then this is another graph that I would like to see uh, to show it to you. Uh, the y axis is a chlorine residual in milligram per liters. Okay, so how much chlorine left in the water that can disinfect uh, water? Okay, chlorine residual is basically chlorine that present in water that can disinfect um, microorganism or disinfect the water, sorry, to kill or can kill the bacteria. So this, uh, the x-axis is actually the chlorine added. So how much chlorine being added into the water? Right. Let's say you put the first chlorine inside the water. So this chlorine, instead of forming the free chlorine or forming the, um, the, uh, the free chlorine or the combined chlorine, the first thing that we'll do is it can if it finds out that iron is present, it will oxidize the iron and becoming minus chlorine, okay? Or becoming chloride ion. As you may know, okay, you know that chloride ion is not free chlorine. So it, that it does not disinfect chlorine. So you can see here, we have already add one chlorine, but there is no chlorine residual because it didn't uh, do not need, uh, it does not uh, disinfect water it will not be able to disinfect water because we are producing chloride ion okay and then we put the second chlorine adding the second chlorine it will react with manganese and that's also will oxidize the manganese and we are producing chlorine minus as well okay so we have already add the second chlorine but still there is no residual chlorine because we are producing Cl minus. It is not a disinfectant. And then we add the third chlorine. Okay. It will react with organic after that. Yeah, after it will so react with this and this, it will then react with reacting with organic. So this also will be producing Cl minus, not a disinfectant. So again, yeah, after adding the third chlorine, still we have a, a, a zero residual chlorine. Chlorine residual, if you like. Right. And after that, if you add another chlorine, the fourth chlorine, if you like, it will be reacting with ammonia, and that one will be producing NHCl2. Okay. So is it a disinfectant? It is a disinfectant because we are producing combined chlorine so number one number four yeah and after adding four chlorine so you start to see a disinfectant chlorine okay oh i'm sorry a combined chlorine which can disinfect the water that's why you, the credit residual has some value inside here and then we add another chlorine and it will be reacting with another ammonia and producing the same thing as well but this one is the second one so you're producing this one so we can see okay after five it will be increasing chlorine or residual chloride okay, residual chlorine i'm sorry okay and then if you add another chlorine now it will be reacting with that and producing nhc and i'm sorry okay the first one should be NH2Cl, okay? NH2Cl, so that's really my mistake. But now if you add the chlorine, it will be reacting with this thing. So this one will be producing NHCl2, okay? So no additional, num uh, no additional number of chlorine, so it gets static. And then we add another chlorine, and it will react with a second of uh, monochloramine, producing the second of dichloramine. Okay, so we have now times two. I'm sorry that the diagram is a bit messy, but none, none, nonetheless, 
I hope they explain. So you get a static chlorine, residual chlorine, because still you're producing two, and now it's um from this monochloramine changing it to dichloramine, still two things, okay? And then if you keep adding chlorine, okay, it will react with that, and this one will be, will be forming NCl3, okay? And that is not that is not a residual chlorine. Oh, I'm sorry, this is not a disinfectant. So you can see a dropping in the graft. Okay? And then we had another chlorine. It will be reacting with the second, oh sorry, bit fast. Okay, it will be reacting with the second dichloramine. So we'll be producing the second times two. Okay? The second uh, nitrogen trichloride. So we are reducing back our uh, residual chlorine. And now if we add the last chlorine, the subsequent chlorine, if you like, now it is not reacting with any of those. It will be producing in the water the HOCl. <coughs> and it, <coughs> I'm sorry. And then you see an increased number of chlorine residual. And then if you keep adding another chlorine, Okay, here we were producing the second HOCl. Okay, the second HOCl times two. Okay, so you can see it will increase eventually. Okay, and this thing, okay, we call it as. Does anyone would like to make a guess? Okay, this graph is called the breakpoint chlorination curve okay we continue with the slide so this is the breakpoint chlorination curve and this point is called as the breakpoint so whereby from this point onwards you are producing free chlorine okay whatever things that i have already uh, explained just now using my whiteboard is being written can always read it. Yeah, the breakpoint chlorination curve explanation. 